so I was on my way to the capital city of Switzerland which is Bern but on my way I found this old Roman town here in Switzerland and I really had to check it out As we discover this old Roman town here in Switzerland, let me tell you what we are going to learn in this video. We today are going to learn some of the interesting differences between India and Switzerland. Also, we are going to go to the capital city of Switzerland, which is Bern, and see what interesting adventures lie ahead. Let's do this. One of the biggest differences between India and Switzerland is the ability to make friends. In India, you meet a stranger on the street and the very next moment you're very best friends. But here in Switzerland, the Swiss people are a bit reserved and it's really difficult to be best friends with the locals around here. Even if you have a Swiss as a best friend, you need to take an appointment like one week or two weeks before to meet them. While in India, you can just turn up at your friend's place even in the middle of the night if you want to. As you know, the Romans liked building huge theatres, huge walls, huge fortresses, huge castles like this. But the walls here in this town built by the Romans were more of a symbol of status rather than for any defensive purpose. As you can see these walls here date back several centuries and people never tore them down after the Romans left. Instead they built houses here over the old architecture and people live in these areas. Let's go check it out. Actually, there's a dog in this place. Should we really risk going inside? I guess yes. Let's go. No dog. We survived. Let's check out the rest of the town. So this is the old theater that the Romans built and people back in the days used to sit on the steps here and watch the concerts that was happening down here. Even to this day, concerts are held in this beautiful old theater. Anyways, let's get out of this town and head to the capital of Switzerland. Welcome to the capital of Switzerland, Bern. I was supposed to meet a few friends here in Bern, but I'm running a bit late, actually very late. But I think it's in the blood of us Indians to be late, which is an interesting difference because the Swiss like to be exactly on time, while us Indians are almost never on time. They are nice posers. They're posing very well. Thank you. <laughs> food. With they... food, ah, if you give them food, they pose. Yes. <laughs> Hello. But, uh, name is first. First, and what uh, his? Book. 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 Ah, hello. En bas, en bas. Oui, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Anyways, nice to meet you. Have a good day. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Ciao. So that basically is the parliament here in Switzerland. But I'm not here to talk politics because just on this street here is a street food market. Let's talk about food. It's more interesting than politics. As you might have already known, there's a lot of difference in the food between India and Switzerland. In India, we like to eat very spicy stuff, while here in Switzerland, people love to eat a lot of cheese. Hello, you got some cheese? Yeah. Can I have some cheese? Is this like uh, cheese from Bern? Cheese. From, um, 
Grabunden. Grabunden? That's, uh, the half Italian part. Of okay, so it's Swiss cheese, anyways. Yeah, Swiss. You want it uh, try first? Uh, I, I trust you. Give me the best cheese. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know what you like, though. Then I give you my favorite. Yes, give me your favorite. What's that? That's Can cream I? cheese. Cream cheese? Yes. Okay. It's, this would be like your piece of cheese. Is this fine? What's that? Sorry. That's like your piece, like we always first show the person. Okay. Is this okay for you? And then you say yes, this okay. is okay for me. Voila. Thank you a lot and have a nice day. You sir. too, thank you very much. I take some of your cheese. Yeah, sure. <laughs> thank this you, bye bye. You yeah, this is the one? Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. So finally I met my friend who is an Indian as well. So it's not a problem that I was late. I think you understand. Yeah, because he's not Swiss yet. Not Swiss <laughs> yet, yes. <laughs> but uh, he's a YouTuber as well and he's got a channel as well. So you want to say your channel's name? Ah, so uh, this is Lost in Heaven. You can check it out. I think mostly both of our subscribers would be same. So we were like, let's, uh, uh, what is this called? Let's meet today, you know, because he was in Bern as well. And then I was like, yeah, that would be nice to do today. And yes. that's why we are here today. Yes. Uh, nice. uh, would you like some cheese? Oh, you have cheese already? Yes. <laughs> I was shooting about food, but I took a bite from it. So you can take the below one. Okay. Is it a good cheese though? Try it. Okay. So we in India basically are not used to eating non-spicy food but here in uh, Switzerland mm. it's mostly cheese that people eat not only cheese but mostly cheese it's good right it's good it's very cheesy though approved by Indians <laughs> approved approved <laughs> more, more than paneer yes yeah. hello it's a nice way to social distance you don't even need mask <laughs> cool Another difference between India and Switzerland is the holidays. I had worked in India for several years and if you ever worked in India you will know that there are so many festivals that every other week is a holiday. But here in Switzerland you only have a very few public holidays. What we found now is an old abandoned bus that was probably used once upon a time in the city of Bern to take around passengers. Let's go check it out. But I guess now it's just used for people to come and drink. Okay, so let me demonstrate something for you right now. This, by the way, is a zebra crossing and you can cross the road where the cars actually stop which you don't actually see in India. The only way you cross the road is by showing your hands and if you're lucky, you cross the road alive. Of course, everyone knows this guy. One of the greatest scientists of the modern era, Albert Einstein. The reason they have his photograph here is because he lived here in one of these apartments for two years where he developed the famous theory of the world, the theory of relativity. One big difference from the place that I stayed in India, which is Goa and Switzerland, is the weather. As you all know that Switzerland is a cold country while Goa in India is a warm place. So basically in Switzerland, whenever there is a little bit of sun, you see people coming in their shorts, bikinis, hanging out, sunbathing along the river. While in Goa, if the temperature goes down to 20 degrees Celsius, you see people wearing huge jackets and scarves and gloves. So we have come to the end of the day here in Bern. It was a really amazing day. It's the end of the vlog as well. 
but if you have noticed i never really spoke about the difference in economy between india and switzerland or the difference in infrastructure between these two countries because i don't think so it's fair to compare these two countries based on economy firstly because india has been colonized by several european powers for several years while switzerland has never really been in any war for many many years so not fair to compare but that's the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next vlog signing off along with lost in heaven lost in heaven check the channel out and do like share and subscribe this video yes bye bye Okay. Bye, have a good day. <laughs>